Today, I'm talking about hoons. If you're not familiar with the term, hoons are basically dickheads who drive irresponsibly and go, yeah, my fucking cool. Okay, if you're on a racetrack and you're going 275 miles an hour, that's fucking kick ass. You're a fucking good driver. If you're going 257 miles per hour down a fucking 40 zone, you're a dickhead. Why? Because you're killing innocent people who are obviously more intelligent than you are. Why are you going that fast on a street? You know how quick, like, a turn is going to appear and you're gonna flip into a tree and fucking die oh wait you didn't take that into account because you're too stupid and trying to be cool and doing a donut in the middle of the street oh look at me I'm doing a wheelie in the middle of the street if I have a lapse in concentration for whatever reason I may hit someone or someone might walk near it and damage my car or something like that I as a kid used to have fun because I live near a shopping center where dickheads would go up there and do burnouts all night circle work, which is just fucking pointless. I mean, someone doing like a 400 meter drift, fucking amazing. Doing a burnout in a circle, I'm not impressed. And I'm cross-eyed, so if you can't impress me, you're impressing no one. But one technique for stopping these dickheads from doing this, which I saw someone do, was absolutely amazing. While they're going in a circle, making smoke, basically making pretty much everything from their perception invisible, this person decided to throw a trolley into the mix. Now, you know a shopping trolley is made of pretty much, I think it's stainless steel, thick fucking steel. So when that was put into the mix, that guy's car got fucked up and because of all the smoke, said person and myself were able to get away without even being seen. So yeah, you're really cool. We fully fucked up your car and you don't even know how it happened or who did it. Well done. And it was so many years ago, you could never know. Now, it's... It's so dumb what people do in their cars. I personally can't drive. So if I see someone driving well, that impresses me. If I see someone flying down the street like they can't even control the accelerator, yes, to a person who doesn't drive, that's what it looks like. When you go flying down a street in a 60 zone at like 150, it doesn't impress me. I'm like, that dickhead can't, he's got whiskey throttle going. What a fucking noob. Okay, you don't look cool to me. Another thing that doesn't look cool to me is people who have like um, turbo in their car and you know, you let the clutch go and it goes or something like that. It has uh, something to do with revs. I'm not even gonna pretend to understand it because it's for douchebags. Anyway, um, yeah, it makes a little funny sound and these idiots, I used to see this all the time. I'd be trying to learn how to skate and some goes like, fuck, why could do the ollie? Fuck, I'm doing the ollie, what you shit? I fucking kicked a board off the ground up a ledge and grinded. You pressed a couple of pedals. Who's the cooler one in that situation? You're not cool, bro. Fucking ridiculous. And everyone who's into cars talks like that. Yeah. You'll see, like, Asian guys talking like that. Oh, bro. It's like, what, what are you doing? And there was that video going around um, where some dickhead got caught, I presume, drink driving, I think it was, on drugs, probably. And they asked him, you know, what are you doing driving like a dickhead? And he said, just waiting for a mate. And a lot of people found this hilarious. Ah, oh, he drove irresponsibly and was so out of it, he gave the stupidest response when asked a simple question. Hilarious! I think it's depressing commentary on our society. See, that guy is obviously not very bright. Obvious. And he's flying down the street like a motherfucking cunt and endangering people's lives in whatever circumstances it was. I'm not even going to pretend to remember it because it's such a wanky topic. Anyway, doing what he was doing, potentially killing people who were much better than he was, and you think that's funny? You're an idiot. I mean, I want to live in a world where there's more smart people. I'm not going to celebrate a guy and his stupid behaviour. What a fucking dickhead. My God, I saw people celebrating this guy on YouTube. What a legend. What a legend. And people doing circle work in the middle of the street. A little kid walks out there, gets skittled by the car, blood's everywhere. And they're like, yeah, fucking sick. And it's usually Aussies. I hate to say it, but you fucking crackers love this shit, you fucking white motherfuckers. Do you ever see a black person on the telecast of the burnout competitions? 
fucking rare as when you see a black person there, you're like, what the fuck are you doing? Anyway, it's usually predominantly white crackers. Probably people who like waving the Confederate flag, racist fucks. Anyway, and you know, I am Aussie, but I'm not that Aussie. I'm not Bogan. It's a Bogan thing. Cars are, they're lame. They're lame. Ride a bicycle, man. Oh, I got this accelerator. I can go really fast. I can pedal up a hill, bitch. I'm fucking tough. And that, that's another thing, the perception of being tough because your car is tough. Oh wow, someone engineered something that's really powerful and quite impressive. They engineered it. You're just a dickhead. So that's all it is. Oh, I can go real fast. Whoop-dee-doo. Whoop-dee-doo. Anyone can learn how to do that. There's no talent. Where's the talent? Why is that cool? There's no talent. None. Just dedication to being a noob. Ride a bicycle, skateboard, fucking walk, you fat fucks. Cars, fucking. Mm, look at car. Mm, two, two, two. Air conditioner. Fucking. Fucking. That's what I think of your cars. I'd want to go to a car lot and just take a shit on every car. Fuck them. Making people fat, lazy, stupid. I can listen to the radio while running over school kids. Well done. I can not do that because it's fucked up. You fucking four-wheel drive loving motherfuckers. And my neck looks weird because I'm crooking my head down. How weird does this look? I think the topic is done. I should probably finish the video here. That was mad as a goat. And I hope you enjoyed my cross eye. Fuck you.